Hey everybody, today I'm going to be telling you all about Turno. Turno is an app that connects you with cleaning professionals that are specifically trained to clean furnished rental properties like Airbnb, other vacation rentals, and midterm rentals as well. So in this video, I'm going to log into my Turno account, show you what the dashboard looks like, show you my favorite features, and I'm going to tell you why I truly believe that every single person who owns a furnished rental property needs to be using Turno. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here's what you see when you log into your Turno account. The dashboard basically gives you a snapshot of what projects you have upcoming. As you can see, I have one that's happening today. And they're calling these projects, these are basically cleanings that you have that are upcoming, right? And so also you'll see the properties that you've created a profile for in Turno. They're listed here. And on the left-hand side, you can do your cleaner search. You can look at your projects. You can report any problems, um, checklist, inventory. I'm going to get to that because those are some of my favorite features towards the bottom of that list. But let's go through the cleaner search process so I can show you how incredibly unique it is. All right, so when you click on cleaner search, you are able to do a new search. And from here, you can either choose an existing property or you can add a new property. So I'm going to add a new property. Now I'm going to put in a fake address. You guys, this is not actually my property, but I just want to show you kind of what it looks like. So 123 West Main Street. And you can put in the unit size, like the square footage. If you don't know it, that's fine. Put in the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and then click next. So from here, you can put if you provide cleaning supplies or not. I'm going to put no um, estimated uh, number of projects that you'll be doing per month. I don't know. I'm just going to put two. But you can, you know, set this to whatever settings you need. I'm going to decrease that to two hours. Do you need cleaners to wash and dry linens and towels? Yes. And then if you have any notes, you put the notes here. Now I'm going to click find cleaners. And what it's going to do is it's going to push that information out to the cleaners on the Turno app in this area. And I'm going to start getting bids for this property. So we'll give it a minute to let the bid start coming in and then I'll show you what that looks like. But let's go to look at a few other features. So once you start getting projects uh, scheduled, you can look at them here on a calendar and it has a list as well. So you can kind of keep track. Now, remember, Turno also syncs with whatever calendars you have. So that's the really great feature about it, too. So there's no confusion. You can keep track of it in the app or on the site, but you can also keep track of it you know, on your own personal calendars. Um, Quality Center, that's great too. If you have any issues, you can keep track of them here with these two features. Now, checklist. I love this feature of Turno. This is why you, this is something you will never find with any other uh, cleaning service that does not specialize in short term, mid term, vacation, furnished rentals. So when you click on checklist, you can either create your own custom checklist for your cleaners. Like let's say for instance, there's something very unique about your property or there's just things that you're very particular about that you don't want them to forget. Like I remember um, we had a cleaning professional who didn't look in the dishwasher and when the next guest checked in, there were dirty dishes still in the dishwasher. And so whatever you don't want them to forget, if there's anything you know you wanna add, you can add it here. Or you can choose from these popular checklists. And um, this is one of my favorite ones they have on the list, but these are all really good. You can add these to um, show to your, clean, your cleaning professionals so that they know what to look for. So I think these are really great. And another feature that I love is this inventory. So... Um, this, this takes it like a step further, like the checklist is great, but if you want to make sure your cleaning professionals are keeping track of the inventory of certain items, like how many, let's say how many coffee pods you want to make available, because for us, we typically will have like a closet that's locked with a electronic keypad that only our cleaners can get into. And we may want, you know, two granola bars, two bottles of water and 
six coffee pods left out for our guests, right? And so you can basically add whatever inventory item you have here, and then um, it'll let you add in the number of that item. Like for example, here is six rolls of toilet paper so that there's no question on how much of what is left out. And so this is a feature, like I said, you're not gonna find on any other just regular cleaning app. And I love that that feature as well. So I had to move my photo a little bit so you could see the rest of this menu, but I clicked on my team and this basically shows you who is on your cleaning team. So anytime you accept a bid from someone, they get put on your team. You can remove them if you don't you know, like their services. You can add new people. You can kind of keep track of who you really liked working with so that you can easily find them again. And you can also invite teammates from off the app. If you have a co-host, there's a tab for that. And so that's kind of what that looks like. There's also the guest checkout reviews uh, tab, which I have not used. Um, and then there's also host services where you can find a property manager or find um, other partners. So that's kind of a look at this app or this site, you know, the platform. Let's go see if we got any bids. All right, so we got three bids on this fake address. This is not my address. Um, we got three bids on this property, so let's click on that really quick. All right, so um, I have one for $75, one for 100, and one for 116. Now it shows you their reviews and it shows you what like credentials they have. This person has a background check, which I think is the bare minimum um, from what I've seen. And then this person has background check and a license. This person has background check, license, and liability insurance. And so as you can see, it's kind of priced accordingly. And um, it looks like they all have pretty good reviews. This person has the most reviews. And now remember, typically these people have a team. And so you may book with you know, Teresa, but it may be her or someone else from her team. And they'll let you know that in the next steps. Um, also remember, that these cleaners are um, trained specifically for furnished rental turnovers. And so I want I want you to keep that in mind too. Like this is, that's why I love this site so much. I love that it's app based. I love that it's all like organized, has so many features, but also you're getting cleaners who actually know what needs to be done. Um, all right, it's telling us here that this property is not linked to a calendar, which is this is this is a fake property. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. But let's see, for instance, if we click on this one. So what you could do is check out her review. She's done 700. She and her team have done 707 um, cleaning cleanings on Turno. And if I want to accept the bid, I can do that here. It expires in two days. Um, it shows you how much it is plus the platform fee. Remember, now we, we have three bids right now for this project, but as time goes on, we would see more bids come in. And then when you choose a cleaner, you just close out the, um, the request for a cleaner. And then, you know, you're, you're not going to receive any other bids for that particular project unless you open it back up. So that's a kind of look at how Turno works. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section. And I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys next time.